Yeah, the Loop is going to be a seven day a week service with an autonomous shuttle. Uh, it will operate from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily with 20 minute service. Um, it is a, f a free, fully accessible uh, electric shuttle and it will have an attendant on board at all times. So the role of the attendant is to there, be there to monitor and take over if needed. For example, if there's an unusual event that takes place and they have to maneuver around a construction um, vehicle, which uh, we experienced today. These shuttles are built for first mile, last mile, short connectivity routes. They're not intended to take the place of bu a bus system. This is kind of a micro transit that supplements the bus system. So the difference is, is the autonomous vehicle will have a better reaction time than a human and it will offer a more reliable service because they won't be distracted, they are focused on their job at hand. Uh, I didn't feel unsafe. Um, I felt that it made some abrupt stops, um, but otherwise I felt like I was riding any other bus for the most part. Trained operators are, are going to be required um, even as we increase automation. And so the question there may not be how worried should someone be about losing their job versus what should they be thinking about the potential training that's required and 